Good morning and welcome to Influence. I'm here this morning with Erica Carroll. Erica, uh, you are on campus, I believe, or are you somewhere else? I'm on campus. You're on campus. Wonderful. Well, if you would, uh, introduce yourself and let our viewers know a little bit about who you are. So, like you said, I am Erica Carroll and I am the, one of the newer instructors for the Animal and Dairy Science Department. I have about 10 years experience working in the veterinary field. I am a certified veterinary technologist for the state of Mississippi. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, that's the equivalent of a veterinary nurse. A veterinary nurse. Very, very interesting. So you're with the uh, Animal and Dairy Science. So tell us a little bit um, about your program. So it's a new program. Uh, it's a companion animal management certificate program. It's completely online. There's 15 hours that a student could complete in two semesters to complete the certification. Um, it is open to all Mississippi State students, whether they want to pursue their certificate or just take the classes. Uh, it's designed for students with a full-time load that just want more classes in companion animals um, and even working adults. So everything is online. They do it on their own time. Um, like I said, it's uh, open to all students. And if students are interested in taking these classes, they even count as elective courses in, for some of our ADS students. And there are no prereqs for these courses, which makes it a little more appealing for um, students that just want more information. Right. Yeah. So many, many students can take them without the, without the necessary prereqs. Um, okay. So my question is, if a student is going to be a part of this uh, companion animal program, what's something that they might expect? So we offer a wide variety of classes, um, mostly pertaining to dogs and cats. We teach a nutrition course, an evaluation course, which kind of puts together the anatomy and the function so that they can select the best animals if they're doing breeding programs or if they are um, just looking for a great companion animal, they know how to select one. We do companion animal management. Um, it's a course with a lab that Dr. Nicodemus teaches. Um, we also do a human animal bond and shelter medicine course for those that are interested in shelter medicine or even incorporating companion animals into the human health care and seeing how big of an impact they make on human um, health and <laughs> so. great so it we're talking a lot about companion animals do uh, service animals have any um, courses or any type of influence into this program we will talk about service animals in the human animal bond um, Mostly just dogs. Um, cats don't really make good service animals. They're great companions, but not much help around the house. Right. <laughs> yes, I've, I've never seen a service animal cat, but we, we never know. We could train one. Uh, so my last question for you would be to um, students that are interested in your program, who is the best person to contact? Uh, that would be me. Uh, we also have a website with some information if they wanted to look up for themselves. If they if they don't if the website doesn't have the answer to their questions, they're more than welcome to contact me. Um, so if they just want to go to the Mississippi State homepage, they can type in companion animal management in the search bar, and the first website that pops up is ours. Wonderful. Well, that's great. Anything else that uh, you wish to share about your program? I know that it's new and exciting. It is new and exciting, and I'm really excited to see how far this goes and how it helps out um, our pre-vet and our, even our vet tech students, as well as people in the community that just want further information about being pet owners. Wonderful. Well, Erica, thank you so much for being a part of today, and uh, I hope to, to hear more about the Companion Animal Program in the future. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Noag. Think again. We are creative. We protect the environment. 
We prepare for careers in medicine and conduct research. We empower people and communities. We are technology driven. And we feed and clothe the world. We are the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences at Mississippi State University. Good morning and welcome back to Influence. I am your host, Lacey Roberts, and I am here with Tu Din. He is a professor within the university and Dr. Din, if you will, just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about where you work. Okay, um, my name is Tu Din. I'm the Associate Professor of Science in Farm and Animal Dairy Science. I came to the university in 2014 I um, have been working here almost six years now. Uh, I teach uh, the main course is the intro to science, and um, I conduct you know, uh, the, uh, a research program um, in meat quality and safety. In meat quality and safety, very interesting. So tell me a little bit about the programs that you are um, a part of. Is there um, a new program that you're working with within the, the meat science? Okay, so we, um, for about um, years ago, um, Dr. Schilling, Dr. Dennis Barrera, Dr. Burnett, myself, Dr. Shoya, and several others, actually from um, the Department um, of uh, Food Science, Nutrition, Health Promotion, Animal and Death Sciences, Hope Science, we together and we had a program uh, called the uh, Science Certificate. And, uh, this meat science that we can be able to um, fulfill goal care some student in this uh, for the for this, uh, the student in the tree department and, and um, help them get ready for some of the job in the meat processing industry. Um, so right now the the certificate had been uh, posted on um, the uh, the catalog and is ready to go. Wonderful. Uh, for this certificate, are there prerequisites or things that students need to know before they attempt to um, become a part of this certificate program? There, there is no prerequisite for the certificate. There may be a prerequisite for a specific course that's going to be used to fulfill the requirement for the certificate. Uh, so, for example, um, the intro to meat sign, you have to be um, a, a sophomore standing. Um, and there are other courses or maybe may require a prerequisite as well, but there's no prerequisite for uh, the certificate itself. Wonderful. So that's uh, opening it up to, to several students that might be interested in, in meat science. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because um, you can think about nowadays, you know, we have almost 8,000 federally inspected meat and, and, and yes. uh, poultry slaughter and crossing plant in the United States. And right now, I mean, the, the, the unemployment is really uh, uh, really low. Job placement in meat industry is always kind of low, 90%. Uh, and not just the big company, you know, also the smaller um, meat processing companies, well, only for a graduate from um, food science, food science, meat science. Um, so they, they, there are a tremendous amount of jobs out there um, in across the industry uh, from you know, fresh meat processing all the way to processed meat. So. Wow, that covers a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, i uh, seen that you have some pictures that you could share with us. Um, I would like to, to look at those and maybe talk a little bit about what uh, the students are doing. So I see um, several students kind of sitting around. Uh, looks like they're actually tasting. Yep. So this is a sensory lab um, at um, Department of Food Science Nutrition Health uh, Promotion is managed by Dr. Wes Schilling. Um, he is a sensory scientist, food uh, scientist, he also conducts uh, a lot of 
sign reachers as well. This is his group here conduct a uh, sensor evaluation model. Well, in this picture, you can see uh, this is a really interesting thing that, you know, uh, this is our meat lab personnel uh, help each student how to process animal uh, from uh, from live animal all the way to press meat cut. And this is how they uh, process the goat right here. Um, and, and this is really an exciting thing because uh, this semester, we actually um, conduct you know, meet science lab in an apprenticeship kind of model, allow students to kind of shadow uh, our employee and, and, and work one-on-one, uh, -on -one, receive some of those guidance. This right here is Mr. Joseph Mangano. Uh, he is the um, uh, managed the meat lab right now, and uh, he helped cut, rip the carcass that I'm grading right here. So this is the meat grading. Um, this semester, we actually have a course called Meat Judging, uh, and we're going to um, incorporate the American Meat As uh, Science Association um, Meat Science Evaluation Certificate. Uh, this right here is also uh, Mr. Joseph's here to help students um, uh, split in half a beef car uh, carcass during a lab session. So, and this right here is Dr. Darius Burnett. Uh, actually also helped the student use uh, the bandsaw to split the carcass, beef carcass in half. Uh, Dr. Burnett also I directors oversee the um, me the, the meat um, science and muscle biology, so we kind of call it our meat lab. So. Very interesting. That was seems like a very active type of program. So students will actually get their hands on products and be able to work with some of those those things. Oh, absolutely. We we are proud to have our program probably one of the most hands on program uh, in the university and all love the lab and the, the the one thing is you know during the pandemic with online um, um, uh, class and online delivery we actually uh, take this opportunity and change mentally how we lab allowed to have more personalized learning experience work one on one with our uh, lab and a lot more meat processing um, animal harvesters um, process uh, during sanitation of the facility, a lot of the activities are all hands on and students have to do it all by themselves with the supervision of our uh, meat lab personnel. Wow. Well, that sounds amazing. Sounds like some wonderful opportunities for students. Thank you so much for, for coming on the show today and for telling us a little bit more about your program. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me on. Thank you to our guests today for coming on Influence, and thank you for those viewers. Um, we'll be back again with another episode and, and more um, instructors within the university.